Welcome to the MindView 7 Quick Start video. In this video, you will learn how to create a mind map, how to make text notes, how to attach files, how to customize the mind map, and how to export the mind map to Microsoft Word. For this example, we're going to create a new mind map. Under the new section, I left click the mind map view. We're taken into the MindView 7 interface. The white space is known as the artboard. The top navigation bar is separated into specific tabs that contain the relevant features for each tab. I can easily create branches and sub-branches using the icons contained in the ribbon. I also have the ability to right-click on branches and choose to insert branch levels or I can use the enter and insert keys on my keyboard. I can easily left click and drag to rearrange branches and sub branches to create my desired mind map structure. Let's start by creating a new mind map. For this example, we're going to build a meeting agenda. To edit the text displayed on a branch, I can simply left click the branch and type my new text. I left click off of the branch to deselect that item. To create my first branch level, I select the branch and hit the enter key on my keyboard. I've created my first branch opening remarks. To create my second main branch, I hit the enter key and type the text updates. I'll continue making my first set of sub branches by using the insert key and typing the branch text welcome. To expedite this tutorial, I've created several main branches and sub-branches, which in turn are the topics of my agenda. It's important to mention that MindView creates branches in a specific order. That order is referred to as the branch hierarchy. It starts at the one o'clock point on the mind map and goes clockwise around the route. This branch hierarchy, or this branch order, is directly related to the way that MindView will export this mind map out as sections of a Word document, slides of a PowerPoint slideshow, rows in an Excel spreadsheet, tasks in an Outlook task list, or line items in a Microsoft Project Gantt chart. To better visualize this branch hierarchy, under the Home tab, I can choose to show a numbering scheme. As you can see, this numbering scheme is going clockwise around the route. As branches are rearranged, that numbering scheme is also reordered. One of the many advantages of using MindView is that each individual branch can contain several branch attachments. These branch attachments can take the form of text notes, branch pictures, file or document attachments, hyperlinks, videos, even sound files. To attach an item to a branch, I select the desired branch and choose what type of object I'd like to insert. In this case, I'll insert a text note. The text note editor is displayed on the bottom half of the MindView interface. I can expand or collapse the text note editor as needed, and I can rearrange the placement of the text note editor by double left clicking and dragging it to a new location. In this case, I will leave it docked to the bottom of the screen. I simply type my text as I would in a standard text editing program and I close the text note editor and if I zoom in on the welcome branch we can see a small paperclip icon has been attached letting me know a branch attachment has been made I can hover the branch attachment icon and simply left click on the pop-up to display that branch attachment in this case the text note let's continue by attaching additional information to the agenda in this case, we will left click minutes from last meeting and I will attach a PDF version of the prior meeting's minutes. I simply browse on my computer, locate the file that I'd like to attach by left clicking and choose open. That attachment is now made. I can simply hover the paperclip icon to launch that branch attachment. We'll continue one more time under the financial section and I'll choose to attach an Excel spreadsheet. In this case, we'll attach the revenue projections 
from the new product line that we're discussing. Once again, I can hover and launch that branch attachment. A useful feature in MindView that you will use quite regularly is the Fit All option. The icon is listed under the Home tab or the F4 key on your keyboard. This snaps the mind map back into full visibility of the screen space. Another advantage of MindView is that you can switch the mind map view to several different style views. Under the View tab, I can choose to convert this mind map view into a top down view into a left-right view, into a linear outline view, or once I start to create and add task information or time information, I can create a timeline or Gantt chart. For this example, we'll continue to work in the mind map view, and we're going to move forward with customizing the mind map's branches. By definition, mind mapping is a very visual concept. The visual concept allows you to associate different branch colors and imagery to help bring your mind map to life. It also helps with communication when you're discussing the various topics with an audience or a team. MindView allows you to customize your mind map in two ways. The Design tab, which affects the map in its entirety, allows you to switch between layouts and also allows you to easily switch between the predefined mind map styles. By hovering the styles dialog, I see a live update down below. Each individual style may relate itself better to a specific project that you happen to be working on. I can also choose to select an individual branch and affect its color by using the Format tab. The Format tab is only available when I have a branch or a group of branches selected. For this example, I'm going to choose the Updates tab and I'm going to change that color to a new desired color. I'll move to First Issues, Second Issue, and closing remarks. Now each individual main branch has its own specific and designated color. To take this a step further, I can also start to add visuals to my MindView document. The visuals can take the form of pictures or icons. For this example, we'll launch the pictures dialog. I will locate an individual category, in this case business, work environment and select my desired branch. I left click, I drag and I drop that on a specific branch and when I release my mouse button it creates a unique branch picture. I can have branch pictures on any branch at any level. I can also have floating pictures by dropping the image directly to the white space. To get rid of an image I simply left click and I choose Delete. If I'd like to add any icons to the mind map, I can choose the Icon tab, locate any specific icons that I'd like to add, and I can choose to prioritize, completions, flags, pins, and so on. To utilize an icon, I simply select the branch, and I choose the icon. As I start to add icons to my branches and to my mind map, you'll notice that they also start populating in the recent and document icons, which makes it easy to associate a similar icon throughout my mind map. Now that we've completed customizing our mind map, I'd like to demonstrate the export capability to Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is one of the more popular exports from MindView and it allows you to create an agenda, a brainstorming session, or any written document in MindView and directly export that to Microsoft Word where the branch hierarchy is maintained as the structure order of the Microsoft Word document. Any pictures, text, 
notes, attachments, or icons are all carried through directly to the export. So to reiterate, each individual branch will be exported as a section of my Word document following the branch hierarchy. I simply go to the File tab, I choose Export, I choose Microsoft Word, and I choose either a Quick or Custom Word Export. For this example, I'll choose the Quick Word Export. As you can see, with a few simple clicks, I've exported my MindView project directly to Microsoft Word. The title has been carried through, I have a snapshot of the mind map, I have a table of contents, which is also completely interactive if I choose to navigate to that specific section. Any text notes, branch pictures, icons, and file attachments are all accessible for the Microsoft Word document. It's important to mention that all MindView exports are also imports. So if I choose to then utilize Microsoft Word to take my individual topic notes, I can simply save that Word document, navigate back to MindView, choose File, Import Microsoft Word, and browse for that document, which will then update my MindView file with any additions, changes, or deletions that took place in the native Microsoft Word document.